Pork chops are the most popular cut of pork. They're easy to cook and all you want to do is make sure there's a blush of pink in the center and they're going to be juicy, tender, and delicious. Pork and apples complement each other so well and this dish is a perfect example of it. The pork chops are done. They've been cooking for eight minutes. If you want a little bit more confidence that they're done, you can use your meat thermometer at 145 degree temperature Fahrenheit. Again, that'll leave a blush of pink for a juicy, tender flavor. Remove them from your skillet. And now we're ready for our next step. I'm gonna use the same skillet I used for my pork chops, leaving the pan drippings in there and leaving it at medium heat. I'm gonna use two tablespoons of butter, add in my brown sugar, nutmeg and cinnamon, and then I can season it with salt and pepper. I usually just do a pinch of both. You're gonna mix that up, and once the butter melts, it'll make a nice, beautiful glaze for our sliced apples. Now that the butter's melted, I can add in my apples. And briefly stir it, because you wanna coat the apples with this wonderful, sweet, buttery sauce. My apples have cooked for four minutes, so they're nice and tender. And now, all I have to do Chisel them right over my pork chops. Mm, it smells sweet and delicious. I'm gonna garnish my caramel apple pork chops with crushed pecans, adding a nice crunch. And now we're ready to eat. Pork and apples really complement each other, and this dish is a perfect example of it.